What's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. So listen, man, I was chatting it up with a fellow YouTuber, Tubes5150, who built himself a pretty nice collection of Gil Hibben um, movie knives and in in in, uh, in particular and 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 in particular the Rambo knives and the Expendables knives. Um, so today I'm bringing you per. Not so much his request, but, you know, when he got his legionary buoy and he was like, dude, review yours. So I'm like, all right. So my man, Tubes5150. This one's because, you know, you yelled at me nicely. So, uh, uh, yeah, good dude, man. Good dude. So basically what I have here is a legionnaire buoy. But what a lot of people don't know is that there's two different versions of this knife. The common version that you're going to see a lot of with like um, movie logo stuff all over the place is going to have black micarta grips this is pack of wood right it's a dark pack of wood it's beautiful um and uh the movie one i believe like uh, the movie remake one is a uh 7cr17 i have it written down here i'm trying to find everything so you guys can see and the one that I have with the pack of wood is <laughs> same thing. I didn't realize the steel was the same. I thought it was different. So apparently, they're both 15-inch knives. Here's the difference. The sheath on this one is different. The, the one with the, the movie has like an extra leather tab right here, like on a lot of the Rambo knives, where your leg strap is. Where here, it's right there. This is where you put your leg strap in that leg strap hole. So, um... That's the main difference in the sheath construction, both mm, still leather. Um, and the difference in the construction in this one from the other one is that it's got a pack of wood handle. And um, it's a black pack of wood and it's really thick and it's made for big hands, you can see it. Now, this one is slightly more brushed looking on the palm oil and the quillin and um, then the other one is the one with the micarta grips. I think that one is more polished, but um, I think that's what attracted me to this one is it wasn't too shiny. But I'll tell you what, man, this, it's got this choil right here. That works. Um, this little cutout right here, when I, I saw it at first, I thought, oh, maybe it was for up close work for skinning. Maybe they had an idea with it. No, it seems to just be a, a design piece because if it was going to be for the finger, it would be back here. And if you choke up into the choil, I can reach it, but my hands are 10 and a quarter inches. Not everybody's going to be able to reach that. So turns out that that is just a little design piece. And, uh, you know, Tubes mentions, man, he says, this is art. It's a work of art. And it is. It's, it's a really, really pretty knife. You know what I mean? It's pretty. But being pretty, does that make it also capable? And that's what we're going to find out today. Let's see if uh, I have any hair that could be released with the Kraken. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it. You know, it's kind of hard when you're wearing sunglasses in the house <laughs> to see uh, to see all the hairs on the blade. But let me see. I don't know if you guys can see it. All that. Oh, yeah, you can see. I think you can see it. I think you can see it. Meryl. Let's try and uh, brush them all to one spot. Make a little, a little Donnie B all day arm hair pile. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can see them all there. Um, it does kind of, it. Uh, man, my English is jacked up today. Swear to God, I'm from this country. Um, it 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 comes shave sharp. Um, I'm not exactly how sure the uh, how thick the tang is. It looks like it goes. Let me see, right about that thick to down. So you do lose a whole bunch of steel before it slides in there. Um, but we're going to find out if it's strong. But man, I just caught the light, man. I could see a ton of hair on there. Um, right here. Look at all that. Look at all that shave sharpness. Um, yeah, so, so uh, I find it, you know necessary to take this thing out and bang it around a little bit um and we'll see how it does so let's get this thing going 7cr17 
and um, I know they're made to be lookers and and you know that that's what they're designed for they're designed for people to collect but I'm not exactly collector type of people so let's go out there we're not gonna go crazy because it's really really windy out there and it sucks but um, just a couple things on this blade too it's got a really long swedge the swedge is nice this isn't a false edge you know I mean a sharpened edge this is a swedge um, but it's really nice it should help really well for penetration the um, finger guards got that nice curl on it I really really enjoy that that's nice the fuller is done right it's on both sides that's pretty cool and like normal you have the Gil Hibben logo right there and looks like they did it on both sides you have it right there um, oh yeah this is the one with the, the knife the Gil Hibben knife and this is the uh, signature Gil Hibben I'm um, saying it's a hidden design. Yes, custom design. So um, let's take this thing outside and, uh, and go bang it around. Come on now. All right, so today is crazy, crazy windy. Um, so we're going to try and battle through all this wind and hope I don't knock you down a bunch of times. And just as I say that, you all blow down. All right, so... Let's try and get this thing cut open. This is a big, hard jug, and I figured that'll give it a, a, a sweet test if we can hit through that without breaking it because it's a lot of impact. Oh, my gosh. All right, so that went a whole lot better than I thought it was going to go. That was just easy. That was easy. I wonder if we can take off the bottom here. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Oh, man. You might have to trust it. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna try the bottom. That was on me. I, I got it, but I got too much of it. All right, so let's uh, let's keep going. All right, so, well, that was easy. Let's do some uh, four foot drops. We'll see this balance. Being a big, heavy buoy, it should do that. It should do that, Bill. Every time. And it will. All right. Man. This video is going to be crazy because of the wind. It's going to be crazy. But we got to get it done. We got to get it done. When people ask, I provide. All right, so let's do a couple of hard downward throws. We'll see if anything loosens. Man, it's got some good bite. I'll tell you that. All right. Man, that has got some good bite. It's a good bite. Lollipop. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Oh, wow. 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 This edge is getting it done. Whoo wee. That was pretty quick. All right, so. Man. You know what, you know, you buy these knives and you buy them as a novelty, as a wall hanger, as something just to put up in your house and kind of look nice. But um, little do you know that this knife is an actual user. It's an actual user. It's a knife. It's a knife knife. And so, ha so far, every, uh, every Hibben blade I brought out has worked. It has worked as a knife. And I got to enjoy that. So let's try a push cut here. Oh, yeah. That was pretty simple, guys. That's a push cut. That's a push cut. All right, so let's uh, let's hammer on some piece of hardwood right here. I got sitting there. Gone. Let's check if there's any warping. No, no chipping, no rolling, no nothing. This wind sucks. Some plastic uh, hard rubber vacuum cleaner hose bam easy easy just easy wow all right so let's uh let's go do some more all right hopefully i'm gonna be able to keep you guys in this shot it's not gonna blow over too much but i think we'll be all right i think we'll be all right so first things first let's knock away some of these little branches that are in the way and uh, 
I don't think it's supposed to be that easy with a Gil Hibben knife that's made just to uh, display, right? So what I want to do is I want to work down, do a little kitchen knife prep test. Man. Man. The hardest part about it is getting it back out of the wood because it's digging in so much. All right, let's see. Am I in there? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I was gonna go for that one, but all these were in the way, and it's just working right through them. Holy mackerel! This isn't bad. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't think it was gonna be this easy with this knife. I honestly didn't. You know, I thought it was going to be a display knife that you could use a bit. I didn't know it was a knife you could use and then display. This thing, this thing's pretty good. This thing's pretty good. You know, people always tell you about, oh, you can't do it. That steel is cheap. Oh, that's useless. Oh, yeah. Well, come play with me in the yard. I'll show you what useless looks like. Useless looks like this. Useless looks like I can shred a stick and do it easily. 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 Look at this. Look at this. Look at the bite. I should probably hold it properly so I can get a good whack at it. It's just working. It's just working, guys. Man, I'm trying to look to see if there's any kind of damage at all on the edge. Like anything. Oh, man. The Legionnaire buoy is holding up. How's the handle? Everything's still tight. So far, so good. I'm surprised about that. I thought that was going to loosen first. Um, this thing is like a quarter inch thick. It's a pretty thick blade. They um, they definitely, definitely put the steel in on it. And uh, that's pretty cool. Let me go look for the dogs real quick. All right, so I found the dogs. But then I came over here. And I was thinking about trying a no-spin throw from a couple yards out. Actually, we're about four yards, pretty much. So let's try that. Uh-oh. You know what's funny is the reason I said let's try a no-spin throw is because just messing around, I just did it, and it worked. And uh, I don't I don't throw no-spin. So I don't know what made me do it the first time and, and why it worked, but it did. <sighs> kind of looked like that. Then it went... But uh, I went in there real good, too. But, uh, yeah, a little no-spin throw. The thing is all right. The thing is all right. So, um, I don't know, guys. The Legionnaire buoy, it's a collector piece. It's something that, you know, if you collect the uh, Expendables movie knives, this is something that you have to have. It's from Expendables Part 2, if you know the movies. And uh, it's really cool. It's just something that... You would love to have in your collection, especially if you're a Hibben fan or especially if you're a Stallone fan or, you know, just you like collecting movie knives. This is definitely, definitely one worth collecting. Um, the pack of wood handle I like, but um, who knows, maybe I'll get one with the Micarta handle because, you know, I really like the Micarta handle too. But uh, this is the one I picked up, so this is the one I'm bringing you. So apparently everything about the knife is the exact same except for handle material and um, I have to say these finger grooves are done really really well in it it holds it pretty well um, the wood can be a little slick in places but not bad remember it's, it's basically they meant for you to put this somewhere nice and this isn't some camp blade this is a fighting knife that's what it is it's a fighting knife so this is made to do a whole lot of that just a whole lot of slashing and thrusting and stabbing with when you fight Bigfoot. So, there it is, guys. Legionnaire buoy. If you're collecting movie knives and you want full collections and you want to make sure you have something cool, well, this one's pretty cool. So, can I recommend it as a collection piece? Yeah, absolutely. It's nice, it's thick, it's pretty, it's comfortable in the hand, sharp, and I just went through it. Didn't go too crazy, but I went through it enough to find out if that blade was gonna chip, it would've chipped doing what we did. If it was gonna loosen, it would've loosened doing what we did. It didn't. The thing held up, so uh, not too bad, not too bad. Let's see if I can get you a good view on them finger grooves. Look at that, pretty, pretty. 
that's it guys that's the whole thing i'm dying to be all day until next knife